But right now, Shahada, who's been playing well, Colin, in scrimmages and in the exhibition game. Yeah, he shot the ball really well in the last scrimmage. Had 20 points, led the Frogs in scoring. All right, Frogs in those brand new uniforms. First time in the last, what, six years or so. Frogs have got the new uni as Miles takes it strong to the rack and misses and back the other way. Quickly comes Kylan Milton. He gets a start here for Pine Bluff. Off balance jumper from the corner is off the mark. And a fight for the rebound. Chuck O'Bannon was there. And he was matched up on A.C. Curry. The foul here is going to be O'Bannon. It's going to be his first. Well, I got to tell you, right out of the gate, Arkansas Pine Bluff grabbed the big defense rebound, pushed the ball down the floor, got a shot up and attacked the offensive glass. They're coming with some energy the first possession here. Yeah, good position there on that rebound. Did Curry drew that foul. Turnover here as Curry loses it out of bounds right in front of Rick Crawford. He, along with Chris Hudson and Bobby Vassant, the third, are our three officials for this one. By the way, Curtis Shaw is in the house as well, supervisor of officials. For the Big 12, he'll be watching this one in the debut for the 14th ranked Horn Frogs here tonight. Always nice to see Mr. Shaw in the it house. It is, yeah. Officiating tends to uh, well, elevate a bit when Curtis is in the house, doesn't he? <laughs> well, if you're being evaluated, that's you usually right. perform your job well. <laughs> that's right. Here's Wells. <laughs> Lampkin up front. Eddie going to take that J to start. Misses. Uh, rebound. O'Bannon couldn't handle it. Now got it back. Lost it out of bounds. It goes off of. Well, they say TCU. It's going to be Golden Lions basketball here to open. TCU showing that they're going to be attacking the offensive glass themselves again this year with O'Bannon getting a couple offensive boards there. Thought that one might have gone off the chest of Curry, but uh, officials saw it the other way. TCU in the man to man. These five familiar faces for the Horn Frogs, obviously, on the floor right now. You'll see a couple of new ones that we'll talk about as the day goes on as Curry misses a jumper from the wing. The Jumpers off the mark and drew contact. In a little different from had last year a lot. Mike Miles pushing the ball over to Emmanuel Miller, who forwarded the ball down on the pass. You can get the ball down the floor a lot faster on the pass than you can on the dribble. Frogs looking to push the ball there and hit Wells in the corner, who was able to create a shot for himself and uh, get to the free throw line. Here. Yeah, ball barely touched the ground there as uh, the personal was on Plett. Ishmael Plett, his first, as Wells misses the free throw. You know TCU is going to bring their defense every single night like they did last year. It was their calling card and kept them in almost every game. They didn't score a lot of points, only had four games, I believe, over 80 points all season last year. Yep. So not a high-scoring team. But if they start pushing the ball and have more possessions like that, I could see them scoring a lot more points this year. They refer to him as Hata Wells. He makes the second free throw here and a foul on Mike Miles of TCU. Trying to fight through a screen this time, and Chris Green went sliding. He's the transfer from Cleveland State. The Golden Lions have a couple of new additions to the roster. Actually, virtually the entire roster is new except for two players, but a couple that have come out of some bigger programs, Cleveland State, St. Louis, Western Kentucky. Places like that now dotting the roster here for Solomon Bozeman in his second year. Jumper out front off the mark this time for Kylan Melton. Out of bounds it goes. It'll be TC the ball. Yeah, and Melton had averaged 12 a game last year yep. for the Golden Lions, but he had 42 in one game against Alcorn State, so he can put the ball in the hole. Yeah, he's out of Conway, transferred Conway, Arkansas, that is, transferred back home from Western Kentucky. Miles in traffic, weaves his way for the lead. That's so good, being able to cuff the ball like a running back, find the hole, have such a long stride, and get all the way to the rim. Great play by Miles there. Frogs up 3 nothing here. Out of the top with it is Green. Try to pull Eddie Lampkin out of the post, and they do. Here's screen set by Plight. Penetrate, pitch it. Shot clock at 10. Jumper from the top goes. Sean Doss gets Arkansas Pine Bluff on the board. So I know he made that three, but Eddie Lampkin had it closed out all the way to the corner, and then two passes away, he closed out the guy on the top of the key, too. Yeah. I've never seen a 6'10 guy, 6'11 guy be able to close out two shots like that in one possession, certainly within six seconds of each other. Pretty good effort. Here's a jumper from O'Bannon, misses. And the rebound cleared out of there now by Doss again. O'Bannon, one of those frogs who elected to come back. Three-pointer here from Chris Green, and Pine Bluff doubling up the frogs to start. Yeah, Pine Bluff's ready. They're going to get out and push the ball. Yeah. Here's Wells, penetrates to the rim again. And a foul here on the Golden Lions. Nice move by Wells there. Splitting the defense, getting all the way to the rim here. Again, working in traffic. Green a little late with a swipe there. 
across the head. Wells back to the free throw line. His second trip made one of his previous two. I'll tell you, Green was lucky that that wasn't Mike Miles Jr. Yeah. <laughs> he made it down the lane like that because he can get about a foot higher than Wells can. Well, his free throw is good. Hotta, the senior out of Amarillo, transferred from UTA. Played just seven games last year for TCU doing an injury out of Tascosa High School. Eddie Lampkin's going to check out. You'll get your first look at uh, Xavier Cork here now in the post for the Horn Frogs. Xavier's been battling a bit of a hand injury. Wells free throws good. Frogs have been one now at 6 5. Yeah, no tape on the hand tonight, though, nope. so it looks like he's good to go. I tell you, Xavier's a guy who has benefited from the weight room. He's gotten stronger. He's gotten more aggressive. I'm looking forward to a good year from him. Down low, Doss turn around. Doesn't go with a foul of Wells. Hot is going to get called there. And to the free throw line now will go Sean Doss. He's a transfer, too. He's out of Southern Illinois, Edwardsville. S-I-U-E. A good player there. Transfer is in, and last year was an all swack member for Arkansas Pine Bluff. As Micah PV in for the first time comes in for Chuck O'Bannon. Micah's going to be one of these guys that gets a lot of minutes this year. Best defender on the team, one of the best rebounders on the team. Does a lot of a lot of good things to help you win basketball games. Doesn't necessarily shoot the ball as well right. as he would like. I'm sure he's worked on that a lot this summer. Be anxious to see how he uh, improves. Um, but you know he's going to bring a really good effort on the defensive end. Miles three off the mark. Rebound here taken out of there by Pine Bluff. And we got a little a flop and a technical foul called here on Mike Miles. Yeah, that'll be his second foul. As Bobby Bassant, the third, the the young official who uh, has spent majority of his career in the Southland. Free throws up a good day for Chris Green. And now Pine Bluff will have the basketball. Up 9-5 by the Golden Lions. I think Mike fell when he landed on the shot. Right. And he wasn't hit. But players do that sometimes, not acting like they got hot. So it's not necessarily, or got hit. It's not necessarily like they got hit. It's that they were, it's safer for them to do so. Free throw line with it now. Doss, nice penetration into the lane. Off the glass, Miss that one. And Miles able to grab the rebound for TCU. Nice rebound there for Mike Miles Jr. Here's PB free throw line. Rondell Walker has checked into the lineup for the first time for the Frogs. He's a transfer from Oklahoma State. Jacoby Cole set to get in as well for TCU. Walker's first touch is a frog. Whips it back to Miller in the corner. Emmanuel with five on the shot clock. Looking for some help. Peavy. Miles. Two. One. And that one is not going to get there. Nice job defensively by Arkansas Pine Bluff. And credit to Brom Harris there. D it up Mike Miles didn't give him an open look at it. So now to 15.43 left in this first half. How about this one? Pine Bluff up by four on the Horn Frogs to open the season. The technical it counts as a personal foul. Here's a look at it, Colin. You see where he lands right there one that could have been called a foul because it looked like there was contact But either way even if there's not that much contact in the NBA, that's definitely a foul Here though You're falling back because you're scared You're about to put all of your weight on your foot as your momentum going sure. forward So you kind of make yourself fall back and the official called the flop on it And he, and he called it late called too. it late as that well Which made me think he didn't see it as well as he should have right um, you saw there that at the timeout, Mike Miles was watching the scoreboard the whole time because he wanted to see a replay yeah. of it as well. Well, and Solomon Bozeman, the head coach at Pine Bluff, was lobbying for it. That may have played a role in it. Either way, it's it's in the books as a technical foul, and Mike Miles' second foul. Nice Here's Walker there by Walker. Yes. Rondell. Miles alley oop. PB brings it down. Cole's trying to finish and draws contact now. Micah, Micah was so high there. I don't even know how he caught that ball. He needed almost more of a direct pass. 
Great job by Walker here taking advantage of the loose ball there. Just get it to Miles. And see, Mike lobbed it up there too much. That needed to be more of a hard, direct pass. Right. Coles at the free throw line. Jacoby. Out of Denton Geyer. Nobody really plays in the post anymore, but back in the day, if you were posting up, yep. and somebody's trying to throw you, boy, you can't throw that little lob pass. You got to right. put a little mustard on it. Yes. Got to get it to him. Got it. Yes. Coles made a both. Frogs within two now. Frogs showing a little full court. Yeah. Token pressure here, just trying to slow down Arkansas Pines Bluff. I think we'll see more of that this year out of this group, don't you? As deep as they are, you would think, and also... You want to try stuff and see how it works in some of these earlier season games. Deep three but, here from Doss. The same thing. As soon as you pass out of that double team and reverse the other side, everybody's got to be able to rotate out and get the shooters. Mm -hmm. Five-point ball game now. Miles looks at Walker cutting through. And a foul out front here. Miles bumped. That's the freshman Samuel De La Cruz. Actually, it's Robert Lewis, I should say. Robert Lewis whistle for the foul now, they say. Here's another look at it. TCU trails this one by five. Peavy for three. Got his own rebound after the tip from Coles and unable to convert there either. And yeah, Coach Dixon not really thrilled with his shot selection. One pass, one shot right there. Trajan Ware commits a turnover here. On the carry, the sophomore, sophomore out of Fairland turns it over, and now Frogs with it. We'll get a new point guard out there. Smiles will sit, and we'll see Shahada Will. As that ball whistled out of bounds, good good, good re thing that it was a former Frog, Matt Menace. Oh, yes. It was right at him, so he was able to put a hand up and put a blocker up. <laughs> Here's Coles with it out front. Jacoby being hawked and a reach in. Here on Ishmael play. It's already the 15 foul charged to Pine Bluff. You're going to get, you got two young officials out there and a supervisor. You're going to get more whistles potentially. Here's Wells. Walker blocked. Let's nice run out there defensively. Walker got it back and it blocked again. The Frog's not in a good rhythm right now offensively. No. Lewis now dots. Five-point margin here for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Check with their head coach Solomon Bozeman as the shot clock coming down. Inside 10. Doss for three. Got that one. That was a quick release. Caught that right in front of us and turned around, had it out of it out of his hands in about 0.3 seconds. Largest lead of the game right now for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Foul up front. This is going to be on where as Wells was making his move, and Jimmy Dixon's going to get Eddie Lamb get back into the lineup right now. Yeah, I think that's a good move. Eddie Eddie likes to bring the energy, and they need to get something going here offensively. Xavier Cork will check out. PV inbounds now. Again, Wells operating as a point guard with Miles catching his breath. Coles. Now Wells lost it on the way out. Another turnover here for TCU. Now we talked a little bit about the Frogs being deeper this year and a lot of guys that can play and a lot of guys that have experience playing. That can be, a, I guess, a little bit of a blessing and a curse as well, too, right? Because As well, because you can get guys that haven't these lineups are going to be different all the sure. time, and you're, especially if you're not going wholesale five for five substitutions. You got guys that are, you know, haven't seen the floor a lot with each other. Right. And a travel here, turnover. Good call there. Out of TCU. Frogs have turned it over three times in this first half already. That's the fourth for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Yeah, that's a secret. good job. TCU yeah. extending the pressure all the way out to the U there. Wells works it up front. Nice job there defensively from Ware. Another run out. Das able to convert. 
Jamie Dixon's got to take a timeout. I mean, this with 12.45 to go is now a 10-point lead here for Arkansas Pine Bluff. And this happened at the uh, beginning of the scrimmage uh, the other day as well. And Frogs paid. Yeah, this league will live up to its reputation again this year as the best league in the country. Frogs with it out of the timeout. Eddie Lamb can, gives to Wells. Mike Miles set to get in here shortly. Wells in traffic. Jumper goes there. Yeah, for Miller. Emmanuel Miller had a nice summer this year playing for Team Canada. I think he's going to be a real big part of the team this year. Deep three out top, and it goes for Chris Green. You know, part of it too is I think when you get a, when you have a green light from a coach like that too, <laughs> right. confidence is through the yeah. roof. A few couple of them go through, and next, next thing you know, you start believing you can hang around. Green, the big fellas, knocked down a pair of threes already. Eleven point lead right now for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Corner left is Walker. Skip it right now in his PB. Got a six on the shot clock. Walker in traffic. Jumper from the right wing doesn't go for Wells. And a rebound here for Pine Bluff. And pushing the ball down here, too. Yep. Doss has been hot, but he gives it up this time. Pushed by Ware, lost the handle on it. And it'll be TCU's basketball after the timeout of the floor. Brogs would use this timeout down by 11 right now. The Arkansas Pine Bluff out of the swack with 11.31 to play. Here in this first half, Brogs struggling here early on. While Pine Bluff shooting 60% from the floor. Five of eight from behind the arc. They lead it here by 11. There are those who see the world through a different lens. Who takes basketball after the timeout of the floor. Brogs could use this timeout down by 11 right now. The Arkansas Pine Bluff out of the swack with 11.31 to play. Here in this first half, Brogs struggling here early on. While Pine Bluff shooting 60% from the floor. Five of eight from behind the arc. They lead it here by 11. There are those who see the world through a different lens, who take risks, who are willing to make a stand. Because trails, they aren't blazed by the timid, but by the bold. For 150 years, TCU has been creating the next generation of leaders to think audaciously, care compassionately, lead heroically. And now it's our turn, our time to lead on. see the best two teams from the Big 12 Conference go head-to-head -to, -head to crown a champion. In the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship Game, Saturday, December 3rd at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Experience the energy, excitement, and passion of Big 12 football's biggest stage. Get your tickets now at SeatGeek.com. Frogs trailing by 11 here to open this ball game with the Golden Lions of Arkansas Pine Bluff as we welcome you back into Showmeyer Arena. You can tell by the expression on the faces there, the fans, but a shock here early on in Showmeyer at just how well Arkansas Pine Bluff has played and the Horn Frogs struggling from the field, just 2 of 12 as a team. 2 of 12 and 0 for 6 from three point land. 
they don't have those five free throws, this game's really out of hand. And Doss is having a great game out of the out of the uh, out of the gate here. 13 points, three out of three from three point land, and four out of five overall. Sean Doss, a graduate transfer out of Southern Illinois at Edwardsville. This Come is the in. tough part about a team when yeah. they turn over their roster. You just mentioned it with you know with K State, like you don't know exactly what you're going to get yet, and it's tough to scout a team. With all these guys that played on different teams the year before. Yeah, Timmy Dixon talked about talked about the fact that he thought this group would be a lot better than last year's. Miller misses that one from the elbow. It's one and done for the Horn Frogs. Milton gives it up. Deep three green. Got another three to go down. That's his third. Yeah, they got now he's got ten now, so Green's got ten and and Doss has 13. That's all their points. Right. So all they might want to find these shooters. <laughs> <laughs> 23 to 9 to start here. Miles gives it up. Corner right old Bannon. That one's off the mark. Lampkin to the floor. Feeds it off. Miller who can't finish. Another tip is no good. Frog's just unlucky here early on. And back the other way come the Golden Lions. Milton leaves it off for another three that goes for Chris Green. Hey, the game is still early here, but the Frogs need to just settle down and get a good shot on offense. I feel like that hasn't been a good shot. Arkansas Pines Bluff bringing the energy, and they're bringing it on the defensive end where it's all starting right now. Yeah. Miller didn't shoot that three because he didn't want it. He wanted to get, but he was wide open. Correct play was to shoot the three. Another three here from AC Curry. Jamie Dixon takes another timeout as the Frogs are down by 20. Frogs, might, they might not be down by 20 again the rest of the season. Well, they got to get through this one first. Oh, no, they do. They do. But I'm just saying, like, this shows you, like, sometimes you just have to. Yeah, no question. I think, I mean, turn up the pressure defensively if you're TCU, right? Start picking them up uh, a little farther out. Make sure you know where Dawson Green are, obviously, on the three-point line. The coaches have already been telling them this for the last six minutes of game time. So they know that. They still got to execute, though. Miles out front. Mike with it. Screen comes from Lampkin. Pine Bluff has turned up the pressure defensively as well. Here's O'Bannon. Look for a cutter. Feeds Miles. A whistle here before the shot. Let's see what we get here. That ended up being a good foul. Save a save a big basket. Yeah. So Frogs desperately needed too. Sean Doss, the guilty party. Ishmael Plett's gonna check back into the lineup now. He comes in for Chris Green. 9.53 left in this first half. Frogs down by 20. O'Bannon to the free throw line now. Chuck a 70% free throw shooter last year. O'Bannon oh, knocks down the first one. It's a 20 to 3 run right now for the Golden Lions. It's been impressive, and it it's, not, been. it's not just knocking down shots on the offensive end. They have shut down TCU yep. on the defensive end. TCU 0 for 7 from 3 and two, only 2 for 16 from the floor. Colin Melton will walk it up. Milton is a guy who. Have high hopes for we talked about him out of Conway, Arkansas, the Western Kentucky transfer. Here's a steal. O'Bannon to the rim. He's fouled on the way in. It's a good foul, by the way, by Milton. O'Bannon goes back to the free throw line. That was a nice job by, by Chuck running through the passing lane, getting the steal going the other end, and a smart foul by Milton down there. Don't let anything easy come for the Frogs. They still haven't seen the ball go through the basket yet right. in a long time. Frogs have made just two field goals in this first half. O'Bannon oh, knocks that one in. Seventeen point ball game. Make it sixteen, thanks to Chuck's free throws. See if the Frogs continue to crank up the defensive pressure. Rob Harris is in right now, sets his screen as Milton takes it to the baseline. Did he turn it over? He does. Stepped out of bounds and gives it right back to the Horn Pro. A 
Yeah, he just lost his space there, man. He had no idea where he was on the floor. Yeah, he kind of lost the handle a little bit there, too. Arkansas Pine Bluff. Gets green. Yeah, green gets green back in the game here. And Doss and Ware. So a couple of substitutions. And Frogs are going to answer with one of their own. Uh, Xavier Cork's going to come in for Eddie Lampkin. Nine twenty-six to play here in this first half. Miles going to bring it up along with Wells. Frogs without the services of Damian Baugh. And a foul out front. The foul trouble could start playing a little bit of a factor yep. for Pine Bluff. That's already their ninth here in the first half. But that's kind of the the trade-off sometimes of being super aggressive on the defensive end of the ball floor. Cork to the free throw line. The foul was away from the ball, by the way. Knocks in the first to Xavier. Xavier was a 55% free throw shooter last year. Made them both here. Like that. If you can get that number up this year, that'll be beneficial because he's one of these guys that really good crashing the offensive boards and creates opportunities for himself to pick the line that way lead down to 14 now frog start to chip away a bit chris green handoff now to Doss. for two leading scores Doss to the rim high off the glass missed that one they've made six in a row from the floor frogs can't get the rebound and then a foul committed in the pursuit of it yeah, it's gonna be on court yeah xavier court going a little aggressive for the uh the rebound here. And bounds now for the Golden Lions. Where to Green got to find him as you talked about. Left that one short. Pretty good job defensively from Miller. Cork able to snag it in the corner. Miles lost the handle on it. Tried it a little too much. Back the other way comes Pine Bluff. Nice feed there. From Harris finishes. Uh, nice slip there for Harris. Nobody picks him up going down the lane. Helps that defense. Cork's supposed to have a foot all the way over and under the basket. Now to 825 to go. And Green's going to be whistled for the personal foul here. And I think that's going to be his third. And there's that foul trouble you were talking about. Well, a bit surprised that they left him out there, but he's been so hot offensively. If you're Solomon Bozeman, you, you think, ah, man, I don't want to take him out of here. Yeah, let him play. Um, and uh, that was a heads-up play by Mike Miles also initiating that contact, coming off the screen, seeing the green jumping out and knowing he's out of position. Earns himself a chance to go to the free throw line. Mike Miles. His first half. Free throw's good for Miles, the preseason player of the year in the league. 74% free throw shooter last year. Cork is out as Lampkin comes back in. Curry comes in for Green. Late substitution here, Rondell. Walker, we mentioned the Oklahoma State trans. Wells at a UTA. Second free throw off the mark for Mike Miles. TCU's team free throw percentage not elite last year. One of the things they were hoping to improve upon this year. Lead at 15 right now for Arkansas Pine Bluff with a basketball. Ware in traffic to the rim. Miles with the defensive rebound here. He'll push. Feeds it off Miller who left it behind. A lot of one-handed passes tonight, too, that are just difficult to, to catch. This one ends up in the hands of Curry. His spinner doesn't go, and the rebound taken out of there by O'Bannon. Oh, he, he felt it was in, though. Yeah. He left his hand, and he was already going back the other way. Oh, yeah. Looks like you on the golf course, Gary Player walkthrough on the putt, man. <laughs> you are headed that way, weren't you? I have before. Yeah, here's Lankin. <laughs> Elbow. Nice feeds pass. it off O'Bannon for the reverse. 
Eddie Lampton, one of the best pass, big man passers in the country, showing it right there with the backdoor cut. Frogs now 13. Three out front, off the mark, rebound, Old Bannon. Robert Lewis, the freshman, unable to convert. Now, Miles in traffic, draws a lot of contact. He'll be at the free throw line, but he came down hard. He's taking a beating early here, but getting, getting to the free throw line, that's a good way to get back in this game for the Frogs. Even though shots aren't going, get to the free throw line to cut into that lead. 13-point lead right now. Frogs trying to chip away here on Pine Bluff, Fort Worth tonight. Foes in Baylor, Kansas. Potential Big 12 edition Gonzaga. Oh, come on now. <laughs> You can tell Colin. We can all be, we can all dream. Can Colin, we? Colin, living on social media there. <laughs> Dude, I know, UCLA, I know. Creighton, Arkansas round out that top ten. <laughs> Miles I just always wanted throw. to go to a game there. Yeah, yeah, it looks, like, tell, guess, looks yeah. like a fun, uh, fun venue. It's funny. I was talking to uh, Curtis Shaw, the uh, supervisor of officials, before the game. We were talking about all the new additions. He said, "Hey, I'm going to ride on your charter to Spokane." <laughs> Free throw. And I like Miles to hear that he's on social media. Yeah, too. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 31 19 right now. Five look. Nice look down low. Finds Sean Dots, who continues to add to his total. He's got 15. Was nice patient play from Pine Bluff there. Sometimes you got to wait for plays like that to really develop, and if it's not there, you end up in scramble mode, but it can really work out for you if it does. Here's Coles from the right baseline, missed it, followed his own shot, short again. A lot of contact there, Colin, and no foul, and out of bounds here. Yeah, I think it was a, a, a good call, though, when the, when the defender, the, and the officials are getting a lot better at this, too. When the, when the uh, defender goes vertical, not calling that contact. I really wish they had that. they yeah. had that rule when I played, but they right. never they never called it. Right. You left your feet. You were basically if there was any contact, it was on you. PV to impacts. Shot clock at twelve. Walker. Now Cole. Miles, two on the shot clock, and he's fouled on the way in. Again, ends up on the ground. You were talking about that earlier. He's taking a beating already here, Kyle. Yeah, that's like the fifth or sixth time he's hit the deck. On that particular one, I was a little... He was ready to cock the hammer back there and try to dunk that ball. Trying to ignite his team. A lot of fire under everybody, I think. But Free throw line now, Miles. Yeah, Plett, Plett one and... <laughs> Thirteen point ball game again. Knocks in the second. Down to the six minute mark of this first half. Or Frog still down by twelve to the Golden Lions. Milton in the corner gets it right back now. Freshman Lewis for three in the corner left. Well, that was a nice driving kick from Milton, too. He drew all the defense in, created a wide open shot, another poor pass from the Frogs. And Mike Miles getting rolled up on his ankle here. Yeah. They're going to call Pine Bluff with the foul. Yeah, that's a break a, here. That's a tough call on Doss. Yeah. Break for the Frogs after what would have been another turnover and and numbers the other way for Pine Block. Just a just another bad pass from the Frogs. Second foul, by the way, on Dodds. Yeah, Cole's just errant in the throw. You're right. That was an awkward collision there for Mike Miles, who heads back to the free throw line for TCU. He's making a living at the line right now. That's five out of seven so far. 
got seven total to lead the Frogs. But if he can get to the line eight, ten times, twelve times a yeah. night, he's gonna have, he could average 20 a night easy. This is the second. As long as he makes it. All right. Rob Harris with that rebound. Now Milton walks it up. This is a difficult matchup, by the way. Milton's a point guard. He's 6'4". You know, he's he's a bigger point guard. Here's a three out front. And that one doesn't go for the freshman. Who, by the way, has the green light. You can tell that already. Robert Lewis out of St. Louis, Missouri. I haven't seen anybody <laughs> look to the bench after taking the shot. Well, the coach going to pull me out? You no. Know? <laughs> and that might have been what he said. And, and why not if you're Solomon Bozeman? You say, hey, fellas, go after him. He also wants to see which one of his guys. Another bad pass there from yep. Evie. Frog's just not taking good care of the ball right now. Harris in the lane. Doesn't get the roll. Had a good look at it. Miles in traffic scores. Good. He hit the deck again. It's good hesitation to wait for the lane to open up a little bit. Took a little contact and and went up again. Frogs desperately need that bucket to keep it 12 here. Surprise, no pressure really in the, after the bay bucket there. You know, I don't know that they need to do it yet because Arkansas Pine Bluff is inviting that pressure too because they're getting good looks out of it. Here's Doss. That's four out of four for Doss now. And the corner knocks that one down. Lead back to 15. It's a fun feeling when you're playing and you, and you get that hot and you just know it's going in every yeah. time you touch it. He's got 18 in the first half. Miles, Coles, now Peavy. Step through. No, that's an easy bucket. That's what the clogs need to do. Keep attacking the glass. You're either ending up in the free throw line or you're getting layups. Settling for all these jumpers. TCU 0 for 8 from 3 now. Pine Bluff content to take a little air out of it, too. They've done that the last several possessions. Part of that might be the foul trouble yep. also. So you don't want to get Doss to pick up his third as well. Corner Curry this time. That's same spot, same result, different player. That's his second. So now you got three guys with multiple threes made here in the first half. They've got 11 made threes on wow. 17 attempts. 16-point lead. Peavy to answer. In and out. Not sure that's a shot, Jamie Dixon Moore. Milton out front with three minutes to play in the hand. 16 point lead for the Golden Lions here. 10 on the shot clock. Milton for three. Rebound. Blocked. And the Frogs have come away with it. Got lucky there. And yeah, he walked right into the three-pointer. Here's Coles for three on the other end. It's 0 for 10 now. Somebody's got to take the lid off. Yep. Doss. A lot of contact. Ball pops out. Miles scoring with that. That's a, just a, it's an amazing athletic and dangerous play for him. You know, I'm shocked that he's that aggressive going to the basket. But I hope he's okay here. Just... No fear going to the basket and finishing. See if that's what the Horn Frogs need to get inspired here. Trailing by 14 right now. With 225 left in this first half. Eight attempts already from the line. There's his ninth and he misses out. And then Cork commits the foul. Is this going to be on Xavier again? It is. Over the back. Yeah, Mike Miles is going to put his hands up. He couldn't figure it out. He's like, I, I don't know why the ball's not going in. He's now only five for nine from the free throw line as well. 219 to go. Wears back out there at point guard here for the Golden Lions. Matched up on court. Works it down low. Lewis turn around. Got it. It's too easy, Colin. Way too easy. TCU needs to get an identity on defense. Just get tough. Start defending like you're in the NCAA tournament. Again. Right. 
Cork in traffic with the left hand, and Xavier got that one to go. Nice aggressive move, getting down and close, getting to where his spot is, a little closer to the basket, and he's able to flip it up there with the left hand. 140 to go. Ware with it. 14 point margin right now. The Golden Lions out of the swack. Ware kicks it in the corner through the entire defense over there. Away from the jumper that doesn't go for AC Curry. Yeah, that just tells me the TCU doesn't know where they're all supposed to be and who's yep. covering where. Nice follow there on the miss. Manuel Miller able to put it up after PV had it knocked away. Yeah, when you have two guys closing out to the corner, you don't know your assignment. And right. You're trying, you think you're trying to cover for somebody else. But nice job. Pine Bluff's finding the shooters, and they're knocking them down for the most part. 12-point game. Ware out front. Had it knocked away. Ware in traffic. Fade away. Got it. Tough shot. Out of 40 seconds left in this half. Good chance to go two for one here for the Frogs. Got to go quick, though. Yep. My biggest pet peeve, I think, Brian. Yeah, I know. Just lose possession. I mean, you... Yeah, absolutely, and especially when you need them. Oh, Bannon. Got it. First three made finally for the Frogs. Comes with 24 seconds left in the first hand. Timeout taken here by the Golden Lions. Use it to lose at 30 here for Solomon Bozeman. Shot clock. 16.8 to play. I feel like Rex was actually trying to kick his defender in the show. No, come on there. now. <laughs> Especially when he came off the screen. Well, they use leg was fully extended. Here's Ware down to five. Ware penetrates. There's that corner kick. Another three that doesn't go this time. Frog's unable to get this one off in time. And so Pine Bluff's going to the locker room here with an 11 point advantage on TCU. Golden Lions 11 of 20 from behind the arc. They are sharing the ball and. Trusting in each other and giving it up and finding each other in good spots to score and knocking them down when they do. And by the way, as and we're passing on kudos to the Golden Lions, got to give credit to Solomon Bozeman, their coach, who had a good game plan. They start with another three here in the second half. Green misses, but credit to Bozeman who had a plan coming into this game. Yeah, absolutely. Attack and be aggressive from the, from the jump. Miles corner left. Emmanuel Miller to three. Got it. There you go. Frogs are ready. Looks like they're ready to come out here in the second half. Start a barrage with threes and make Pine Bluff start chasing them off the line. Then they'll get some easy baskets at the rim. Eight point lead right now. 46 38. Frogs finally get it back down into single digits here against Pine Bluff. And screen from Cliff. He got it right back and missed it. Then knocked it out of bounds. It'll be TCU's ball. Lampton rolled up on there awkwardly. Cleth rolls underneath it. There's a look at this. So Pleth misses. Let this one roll here. You can see them come down and then boom, just rolled on the back of his leg. That yeah. could have been dangerous. Hey, it could have been. I don't think Eddie saw that he was going down. No. Oh. You just got to have that awareness sometimes. Guys falling down on your feet. A minute into this second half. Miller, right hand side. Old Bannon for three. Chuck misses that one. Lampkin fighting for the rebound. To the floor goes Arkansas Pine Bluff, and Eddie Lampkin to the floor as well. And that's it's out of bounds off of the Golden Lions to let him play through that one, Colin. I'm still trying to figure out how it's not a travel. It can <laughs> fall to the ground with the ball. Only I've ever seen it not called. I thought this might have been a foul on Eddie, too. He had all ball right there, there, though. Yeah. And then he let it go. And he <laughs> no travel. Now the inbounds comes. Wells. You can see the frogs are a little more crisp already on offense here. Yep. Well, skip pass caught by O'Bannon. He goes baseline for the reverse. That one doesn't go. He hit one of the first half. Now the gold lines back the other way. Every possession important for the Horn Frogs here in this second half. Trailing by eight. See the Horn Frogs all over Doss that time. Nice job there, forcing the timeout taken by Pine Bluff already. They knew where Doss was this time here to start this second half. Yeah, Emmanuel Miller was all up in his face right there, creating turnover for the Frogs. 
Frogs have this thing down to an eight-point ball game now, 46-38. Honorable mention, all Big 12 last year guard. Milton working between the circles. Out front it comes now to Chris Green. Curry's got it at the right wing. Back out top it comes Doss now. Doss in traffic on O'Bain. Does a nice job defensively. And now they're going to say it goes out of bounds. Oh, shot clock on expiration. Gives it right back to TCU. Nice effort there by Chuck O'Bannon. Yeah, sliding his feet there, staying vertical, able to get his fingertips on the shot there to block it. Create the shot clock violation. Another turnover here. Miles out front. Mike. Off it comes Miller. Left hand side now to O'Bannon. Top it goes Miles. Free throw line. They leave it to Emmanuel Miller for three, and he knocked that one down. Uh, if he adds that to his game and starts knocking those down at a high clip, that'll be a nice weapon for the Frogs this year. Miller shot just 24% from three point land last year. He's two for two here tonight. Out front with it is Chris Green. Nice look to Doss for the deuce. Seven point game. Miles all the way to the rim. Can't finish. Rebound taken out of there, back the other way. Now comes A.C. Curry. Ball is three-quarters of the way down. Yeah. Miles decided to look off Miller, who was wide open on the three-point line again. Frogs create another turnover here. Robert Lewis standing on the uh, sideline here. You can certainly see the intensity on the defensive side of the ball, where it's going to start. The Frogs going to come back and get where they need to uh, in this game. It's going to start on the defensive end, making stops. Here's that uh, good look for Arkansas Pine Bluff, too, though. Bronze over playing on the perimeter there. It's a tough pass. Good catch. Finish there by Doss. Out of the top with it is Wells. Wells right hand side now to Miller. Corner right it goes to Chuck O'Bannon. Miller now Wells again. Right hand side O'Bannon goes baseline. Nice pass to Miller cutting through for the lane. A good catch. A tough catch from Miller. Man, sliding down the baseline there. No dribble. Jumped all the way to the other side of the rim. Somehow got it up and in. Chuck put a little English on that one to get it there, too. 16-43 to play. Miller up to the leading score now for the Frogs with 12. Quick eight here in the second half. Leads down to five for Pine. And that's A.C. Curry. Mike Miles shaking his head because he knows that's on him. He just turned his head from his defender, or the guy he was guarding as a defender. Gives a layup up. Wells, O'Pannon. Bat it away, right back to Wells. Emmanuel Miller for three. That one's short. I think he got hit, and he did. This is going to be a foul on Pine Bluff. That's going to be on Chris Green, I do believe. And if that's the case, that'll be four on Green. It is. And that's a very aggressive closeout on Miller, who's already knocked down two threes here in the second half, so you understand why. You got to give the offensive player a place to land. Coming down. That was close. Free throw line, Miller. Misses. Manuel Miller. Seniors a 67% free throw shooter last year. Out of Scarborough, Ontario. Terrific ambassador for this TCU basketball program. Second effort's good. He'll get him one more. Walker and Cork, along with Peavy, back in for the Horn Frogs. O'Bannon, Wells, and Lampkin sit. Plett checks out now for Pine Bluff. As Brom Harris is in. And Green remains out there with four personal fouls, Kyle. Coach Bozen rolling the dice here. Yeah. I think he wants to get one offensive possession before the under 16 timeout out of him maybe maybe <laughs> doesn't get a chance here as Miller steals it away he's attacking here yeah in traffic knocked away saved here by the Horn Frogs and Walker gets it Miles has it Mike alley -oop. under the rim court brings it down and can't finish and we get a foul here and Xavier Cork is gonna go to the free throw line when we come back after the timeout. Horn Frog effort a lot better here in this second half, but Pine Bluff is not going to go quietly into the night. 
Six-point lead right now for the Golden Lions. They lead it 50-44 to 44 on the Frogs. Coach of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Second free throw is good. Held that follow through a little while. He was looking for some muscle memory, wasn't he? Yeah, he's he's <laughs> looking for something. He's six for 11 now from the line. He's 76 percent last year, so that's that's well under what he normally would expect out of himself. Now court to the free throw line after the foul. Misses that. One. The Frogs as a team last year were only 67% from the free throw line. And they're about exactly that right now at 19 for 28, 67.9%. So yeah. pretty close to the form of last year at this point. Second free throw, obviously good. Harris with it out front. Four point game. Milton to the elbow. Short Miles who had fallen down. Maybe this is going to be on court. Maybe again. it's a little bit of the humidity in the building or in the area tonight. I just feel like people are sliding down and falling down on the floor a little bit. You think tonight. so? Just a little bit. Like like Mike Miles ran through that passing lane just now and just slipped and fell before he could turn around and get back into play. Yeah. And then he got that rebound down there from his knees. Right. I wish I could get a rebound <laughs> from my knees. Harris now right where with it. Rondell had the right idea, just didn't lead Emmanuel Miller enough. Down low, but can't finish, but draws another foul here on the front. That's okay. That's a good foul. You want to make, make them earn their free throws as well. They've only taken three free throws to the Frogs, 28 at this point. It's not very often when a team is th taking three free throws, the other team's taking 28 and right. And your dad's still winning, yeah. They whistled Rondell with the foul here. Cut to the free throw line. First one's no good. They should have a sophomore. It's out of uh, the Netherlands by way of Oral Roberts. Six eight two thirty. Silver's so a sophomore. Missed the boat. Rebound Emmanuel Miller. The lead is four. Horn Frogs with possession of it now as they trail the Golden Lions. Miller down low, Lampkin. And he's been quiet tonight, Colin. Is Peavy. In traffic, another step through. Nice job. That's where Mike was at his best. It's, it's really impressive how he can kind of change directions off one foot like that. Like, yeah. Most people have their momentum going one way. He can still make that change of direction, create some space to get the shot up off the glass. And that's a nice move for Michael TV. Two point lead for Pine Bluff. Clock gets down to 10 now in the possession. Where? Doss, floater, not his game. Miles had it tapped away. Runs into Walker, just unlucky there. As that one was knocked away from behind. Well, I think, I, honestly, I think the official was kind of running down the sideline. In, he needed to be a little farther out and kind of change the trajectory just a smidge of where Mike Miles was going. The defender was able to get back into play and slap it away. Ball hits Walker, goes out of bounds. Frogs have almost erased. They're down to two short of erasing a 20 point lead here. Out front with it is Ware. Ware around Wells again, falling down. PB with the steal. Frogs with a chance to tie this one. PB to the rim. Missed it. Foul. AC Curry commits that foul. And so PB will go to the free throw line. Man, what an aggressive play from PB. He goes up, he gets his steps down, picked it up way outside. And Skies, oh my goodness, that could have been a great finish. So close. Show how athletic Micah Peavy is. Yes. P 
Peavy at the line, lead at two, free throw is good. One point ball game now. Frogs trailed by as many as 20, 29 to nine. The last time the Horn Frogs led was three to nothing. <laughs> and it wasn't a made three pointer that got him that three. Right. <laughs> TV ties it at 50 now. That excites the crowd finally back in this game here. Milton walks it up. Freshman Lewis with Lampkin on it. Tapped away, run down to the backcourt. 13 on the shot clock. Doss fouled by Peavy. You gotta like the over aggressiveness there. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, you saw PV turn to Jamie Dixon and say, "I got, you, I got." You. Yeah, I think against a, a, a team that's kind of reeling right now in Arkansas Pine Bluff, that's okay. I yeah. Think you start playing doing that against a Kansas or a Baylor, it right. might be a little different story, which is kind of why you gotta pick your spots a little sure. better. But this is this is good time. And you got the crowd into it too. You can be a little more aggressive here. Well, I think you got Pine Bluff on their heels right now if you're TCU, so you want to keep pushing them into the form. No question. Here's the overplay to steal. Lampkin comes up with it. Needs a little help. Gets it to Wells now. Frogs with a chance to take the lead. They have not led since 3 0. Rondell Walker misses. Rebound to Wells. Frogs will get another chance. Miller to the free throw line. Emmanuel. Left hand side. Wells. Baseline. Feeds it off now. Lampkin. Eddie for the lead. Got it. Oh, It's happening on the defensive end for the Frogs right there with the steal. Hannah Wells finds Lampkin down low to dribble. May have got away with the left arm there. <laughs> Timeout going to be taken here by Pine Block. Opportunity for the Frogs to add to this lead now. 52 50. TCU finally out in front after leading three. I will say that they had five minutes in overtime. Still could have won that game, sure, too. No question. And then every one of the guys on the team will tell you that, too. Yeah, no question. Free throw line, Eddie Lamb can now. Big fella. This is that. All right, it's always, it's always tough sometimes coming out of a timeout to keep that intensity up, especially you get the crowd back into it. But now you've got Green out there with those four personal fouls matched up on Eddie Lamb. I mean, they have to get offense in there. Here he is. Step back on Lampkin for three. Doesn't get the roll. Nice job blocking out by Rondell Walker. Wells. Cole hesitates. Missed it for foul. It's a good look up court, by the way, too, by the Frogs. Line. Jacoby Cole. And Frogs and Frog being aggressive on the offensive end. Getting the ball to the basket here. Still earning trips to the free throw line. TCU. Jacoby two for two. The biggest story of that, though, is the foul whistled on Green. That's his fifth. And he has to leave with 12 29 still to play in this game. He checks out with 13 points. It's a lot of clock left. But, yeah. You know, I think you, you want to try to give your team the best chance to win. And if he can play the last 12 minutes without picking up that fifth foul, that gives your team the best chance to win, especially the way he shot the ball tonight. Cole's free throw goal. So you understand the coach Bozeman run, rolling the dice there. Frogs on a 10-0 run here over the last 344. Free throw is good for Coles. Golden Lions scoring trouts over four minutes now. Frogs on a 13-2 scoring run. Here's a baseline jumpers off the mark. Rebound overplay by the Frogs. Ends up back in the hands of Doss who finishes here. Frog that come up that rebound. Wells and, and Cole both kind of looked at each other. Harris still to get a hand on it. Knocked himself in the corner. Here's Peavy out front. Mike and a Lampkin. Eddie finds Wells to the rim. Well, kind of. He's the best passing big man in the game right now. And a nice cut from Wells. 
Got great vision, does Eddie Lampkin on the floor. 11.38 to play. On drives up the four, jumper goes here. They're not going away, I'm telling you. This is a Pine Bluff team that's confident right now. And Doss especially. Yeah. Bowles floater baseline, no. Rebound taken out of there by Rom Harris. Milton with the left hand. Defended nicely by TCU. PV in traffic. Floater got and under control and picks up that dribble. A nice addition to his game being able to finish at the rim like that with those floaters. Lead to four. Milton has picked up his dribble. Fox staying a man a man. I love spreading this floor here down to seven on the shot clock to get it to Dox. Walker, the Frog's best defender, does a nice job there. One and done for the Golden Lions. Wells trailing Lampkin can't get that one to go. Eddie kept it alive, still fighting for it now on the floor. Good effort there by Eddie Lampkin. That three's off the mark for AC Curry. The Frogs back the other way. Wells to the free throw line. Well, he didn't get an aggressive here. He didn't settle for the three in the last possession. Got all the way to the rim. Didn't finish the layup. But um, this time, comes down, knocks it from about 12 feet away. Wells picking up some offensive slack here right now for the Frogs. 9.44 to go. Frogs up by six, 60 to 54. Harris, three. Got over Coles. Late to get there. Are they Pine Bluff still catch and shoot on that <laughs> three-point line. We saw how many they didn't get real hot real quick, so Timeout taken here by Jamie Dixon with 921 to play He doesn't catch the ball in the post a ton. He can take it from the top of the key. He took a 20 foot I can pass out of that fraudulent possession now out of the timeout TCU third time they've been to the preseason poll at number 14 right now Little zone look here from Pine Bluff. There's Miles in the left wing to the elbow. Oh, Bannon, they get the shot they want. Chuck unable to convert it. Golden Lions with a rebound. Yeah, nice pass there from Mike Miles finding O'Bannon. He's going to knock that down more times than not. Rocks have won 14 straight season openers. Plex out front. O'Bannon got a piece of that. Or the overplay on Dots. They know where he is now. And Dawson, 24 points. They better know where he is. <laughs> Here's Milt. Clock down to two with the left hand. Nice job there. Chuck O'Banna comes up with it. Another turnover for TCU. Now, that's a little frustrating because you're dribbling as a guard and you see the guy coming from the right. You can't dribble with the ball in your right hand. You got to get to your left. Jumper here from Harris is short. There we go. Now the run out. Miller to the rim. <laughs> Defense still playing well, though, despite the turnovers. Making things very difficult for Pine Bluff. Eight minutes left. Baseline move here off the glass for it. Milt, Milton's a guy that impresses me, Colin. I mean, he's a 6 4 guard, just a sophomore, but he's got some, he's got some good skills. Yeah, and he had 42 in the game last year, yeah. so he can put the ball in a hole. He's just got other shooters around him now. Frogs up three right now on Arkansas Pine Bluff in the opener. By the way, Frogs have won 14 in a row to start the season. Huh? Sometimes, you know, maybe it was the uh, clock getting set back. Is that what it was? <laughs> it started playing it up early. Milton at the free throw line. We're just bragging on time. Thanks for the three point play there. Down to a two point ball game, 62 60. Miles brings it up. Mike. Corner right for Wells is three that's off the mark. One and done for TCU. Where in the forecourt. Guess who? Dost to the rim. Reverse doesn't go, but a foul. 
I'm not sure he had to reverse that one, Colin. I'm not sure he didn't travel. I mean, <laughs> he took one, two, and then hop yeah. to go. But, uh, yeah, I don't know that he needed to reverse it as well. One, two, three, four. Yep. yep. Well, my eyes aren't getting too bad no. yet. Um, no, he did not need to go to the He other finished side. that on the left side of the rim. Yeah, he did one. He yeah. did one. <clears throat> Dawes to the line. Man. Dawes a big-time scorer, though. He is. He's, uh, he's filling player. it up tonight, that's for sure. Out of Marion, Arkansas. This is that free throw attempt. He's one who really started it all, hitting three threes early in the first half. And teammates got a little confidence. Green started knocking down a few. First team ball swack last year. In his first year of time bluff, not to that second one. Lead at one, 62 61, 740 to play. Miles out front, Mike. Job defensively there by Pine Bluff. Court double team. Xavier baseline. It's a tough pass and it's intercepted here. You know, he went down to the baseline. Mike Miles is up top here calling for the ball. He needs to run down to the baseline with him to give him an outlet, give him a good angle. Milton up on Wells gives up the lead again now at 63 62. You know, it's not it's not incumbent upon the passer just to find somebody open. It's incumbent upon the person about to receive the pass and create an angle for the passer to get it to him as well. They're not going away, Colin. Team playing with a lot of heart. Here's Miller, baseline left. Got that one. <laughs> Miller's had a great second half. He's Ten points here in the second half. He along with Miles and double digits. Manuel's got 17. Built it out front. The defensive intensity of the Frogs is you, it's drastically different without Micah Peavy and Eddie Lamb yep. on the floor, and you can feel it. That will the offensive rebound here. Another opportunity now for Pine Bluff. They trailed by one. Lamb can set to get back in there. Where? Corner. Dots. That three doesn't go. They got the look they wanted, though, Colin. Yep, that's the first one he's missed from three tonight. Wells, Miller. Cork with that jump hook. Got to make that. Everybody's in the, and you feel the nervousness in the sure. building. Oh, as yeah. The clock gets a little lower and the score stays a little tighter. He's getting quiet. 520 left. Built for the rim. Pump and foul. That's going to be on court. That's going to be his fourth. He's the one frog in foul trouble. Back to the free throw line now. We'll go Milton. One for one of this game. He's got nine assists. Kyle. Free throws good. Yeah, he's the one creating all those open looks earlier in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Driving kicks. You know his game. You know whose game reminds me of a little bit. Damian Ball. A little bit. Yeah. I yeah. can see it. 100. percent Similar build too. Yep. Frogs without the services of Ball here tonight. Hope to find out more on his status in midweek. Second free throw good. Tied at 64 now. That free throw made it a one-point game. 65 apiece, or a little late on the scoreboard here. Taken away after the miss, and time bluff back the other way. Under five minutes to go, one-point ball game. TCU only with one timeout left as well, having to burn a couple in the first half. Where Platt in traffic missed that one. Solid.
The one who plucked the kick that one out after catching it down there. Obana deep three. Or to himself. And got that strong. Keeping the ball high like that. In a crowd of three. And then putting it up with the left hand. What a play by Miller. Crowd trying to get back in this game, help the Frogs on defense again here. 405 left. Here's Milton, free throw line. Contact, no call. Here comes the three that goes in and out. On the miss was Curry, TC with the rebound. 66 65. Mike Miller's limping a little bit here. Mike Miles is, yes. Or Mike Miles, excuse me. And he wanted TC. You can't burn. Doesn't want to burn timeout. He's trying to get the injury timeout. Yep, they're going to get the injury timeout. Miles. We're going to take the timeout with him here with 3:41 to play. 66-65. Fort Frost cling to a one-point lead as we head down the stretch at Fort Worth. Them that won the national championship, AAU national championship, when they were 12 and under. Um, it was the 1999 12 and under AAU national championship, and it was Mike Conley Jr. was on that team. Oh, yeah. As well as assistant coach Brian Chair. Okay, good. So they were all on that roster. Brian, of course, on the staff now. But here's Miller to the rim, missed it. They got the look they wanted. Rebound here, Platt. He's able to get rid of it. Lampkin to the floor. Five left for the basketball. Milton back the other way. Eddie a little slow getting up. Slipped down. Sit it cross court. Another three here. That one goes. And that is Brom Harris. And Pine Bluff back out by two now. 68-66. Walker. O'Bannon. Chuck with it out front. Gives it to Wells. He thought about it. Back it goes O'Bannon. He'll try to answer with a three that's off the mark. Lamb can tempt it. But Doss controls it now for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Frogs need to get a defensive stop here. Make sure you get out the shooters as well. 2.40 to go. Frogs down by two, 68-66. Milton out front in traffic. Hesitates, missed the easy one. Knocked out of bounds here by Flight of the Beast. TCU's basketball. Boy, they got a great look at it. Yeah, Milton wishes he had that one back for a chance to go up four there with just over two minutes to play here. TCU needs to get some stops on defense. Mondell Walker's out there for TCU. Almost throws it away and does. Miller couldn't handle it. Walker threw it behind him. Peavy's going to get back in. Mike Miles going to come back in as well with 2.16 left. Another turnover. Wells has to check out and Rondell Walker. Sixty-eight, sixty-six. Golden Lions with the lead and the basketball. Well, Mike's still out there limping a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully he can keep it together long enough to finish out this game. Harris. Dots. Their leading scorer with PV on him. Trying to create here. Lost PV. Now in traffic up off the glass. No. Clack with the rebound with the left hand. Put it up and scores. How about that? That's amazing that that went in. That's his kinda, first points of the game. He just kind of flicked that up there. Thought he should have tried to put it in before he went came down with right. it. Lead at four with a minute 40 to go. 70 to 66. Miles, corner left, down low, Lampkin. Lampkin in traffic, spinning. Got away with one there, PV foul. Lampkin's foot may have moved, that pivot foot. Foul here. Milton's wanting a three second call on the play as well. Yeah. That's a, that's a tough catch from PV right there, too, and getting in, to be able to gather yourself and go up strong enough.
Harris, by the way, was whistled for the foul. Peavy at the free throw line knocks it in. 70 to 66. 130 to play. Second and two. Two point ball game. 125 left here at Showmile. Solomon Bozeman directing traffic from the sideline, the head coach. He's got Milton out there. They're content to let this clock run down a bit. I think this is a mistake for them. I know they want to try to shorten the game at this point with the lead, but they've been getting stuff out of the floor of their offense. Now they're going to end up with a shot that they probably don't want. 3 2. Lampkin blocked it. It's going to stay with Arkansas Pine Bluff. Just 2.2 left of the shot clock. Built of the impact. Looking. I think, think Milton got fouled on that, but yeah. Pleth fires this one up. No good. And again, more contact. Drives back the other way. Miles for the lead. Get it down. Now I gotta get a stop here for the frogs taking the lead. 50 seconds to go. 71-70. First good look for Mike Miles tonight from three. Bozeman's going to let him play here. 35 seconds left. 12 on the shot clock. Milton. They reset the floor. Trying to get Milton one on one. Matched up on Lampkin again. He picks it up. They want it in Doss's hands. Their leading scorer steps around. Peavy missed the jumper. And the shot clock expires. Now 40 seconds left here. Or excuse me, 20 seconds left. Here's a look at Miles, his three-pointer that puts the frogs up. Huge leading it on Arkansas Pine Bluff out of the swag. Full court pressure applied here by the Golden Lions, and they foul immediately. It's Chuck O'Bannon. The most experienced player on the floor for TCU. 70% from the line last year. 18 fouls, so still one and one right now. So give Pine Bluff a lot of credit hanging around in this game, yes. especially after Green fouled out with over 12 minutes to go. Solomon, Bo Solomon Bozeman, the head coach, has done a terrific job. Three quarters from Obama. There you see Bozeman in his second year, 34 year old head coach. Keep your eye on him, folks. Spent a couple of years at Little Rock, three years at Oral Roberts, a couple of Abilene Christian. Three to tie. He wants Milton to play through. Milton feeds it off flat off the glass. One point ball game. No timeout taken. Entry to O'Bannon. They'll foul him again. 8.5 to go. There's got to be a lot. I, mean, I, just, I just like a little more sense of urgency. If you're going to grab the ball to take it out of bounds, yep. to throw it in before the defense gets set, right. yep. get it and find your guy and get yep. it to him. Like, Quickly. Like immediately. You almost allow the defense to set up here. Here's, right. And your game, your clock's ticking when you picked it up so quick. Yeah, how about this? That's just Plett's second bucket of the game. Feed it to him late. Milton has fouled out, so Ware has come in for him. That's a big loss for Pine Bluff on that last foul. So Chuck O'Bannon knocks these down. Misses that one. Rebound here. One point ball game where Wales on defense. One second, shot clock winding down. Jumper doesn't go. Ware had a look at it. And that one, folks, was as close as you.